Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our let's play of Hogwarts Legacy. Where we left off last time, we we're about to do the cross wands stuff. Is the final round of cross wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. I guess we'll find out. Shot at glory? Sure, why not? I guess. I, I remember now. this being kind of hard the last time I did Are it. Are you dealing with a partner? Uh, yeah, we'll bring Sebastian along. Yes, Sebastian. I wish we could bring then both people. Then let's get started. Because it's 4v2, which doesn't seem particularly We fair. can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. That one guy looks insane. He's got such a, like, a malevolent smile. Okay, we need to get rid of our red shields. I need to switch this for this. And we need to dodge. Give. Don't care who I hit first. Oh. Okay, or I do hit. Jesus. Okay, I need to move. We're getting smashed around. There's an enemy like right here. Got a dodge. And the guy dodged lots. Just keep dodging for now. Gotta get back to like a different side. All right. Damn it! I should have done this first. Okay, I need to kill her. I need to kill one of them at least. Dodge! Just keep dodging for now. We gotta get to a point where we can. Where's the Zed? Do I have any Zed things to pick up? Nope. All right. Here we go. Let's try and uh, hit someone. You. Ow. Hey, come on, let me down. Okay. Come on. Just die. Alright, we got one down. Okay, we got two down. Damn it, we didn't get the last one. Last two down. Alright, well, we didn't do too bad that time. Got two down. They made a crap we'll try again. Out of you that round. Good to try again. There's so many spells to try and block and dodge. It's yes, crazy. I'm now. Very well. Good luck out there. I need more potions. <laughs> they hit so hard in hard mode. Go figure. Oh, there goes my way. Shit. Of course. Just as I was about to do my spell. What the hell? My spells stopped working. That was good. No, down, 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 down. Okay, fine. Okay, we got two down. Or we got one down so far. Shit, one off. We both got hit, and I can't get down. Oh, we got Descendo, that's nice. Not him. Don't care about him right now. Damn it. Okay. Stay in the air. I need to Accio her because she's got a shield on. This wasn't so bad this time. Alright, we got it. Lots of dodging, lots of shielding, and we are victorious. That was kind of insane. We got it covered, though. We did the cross wands thing. What a victory! You've won the tournament! Yeah, 4v2 wasn't exactly easy, though. Just getting started. That was nothing. I'm just getting started. If the best duelists in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Durmstrang. 
Now, to the victor goes the prize! What'd I get? And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it! You are a duelist to be reckoned with! You look now crazy, guys. Now that we've eyes. definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Have you been Wonder neglecting your schoolwork? I plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Probably poorly, I'm gonna say. Plants don't generally... Well, actually, plants are pretty resilient. That might be fine. We got the Crossed One Champion Garb. Oh, as an aside, I did do the uh, training dummy between videos. It wasn't super important, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, we do have challenges we've completed, though. Let's take a look. We got quests. So we got the legendary cape, the lucky leprechaun gloves. Those are the main quests and relationship side quest things, respectively. We have no combat skills. Okay, we have no real field guide stuff. All right. We don't have talents yet, which is I we really kind of want to get talents going. Uh, let's go to the map. What do we have going on now? No side quests. I guess we have Nat size side quests outside of Hogwarts. We also have Herbology class we need to do. We have the rest of the Dedalian keys. Let's go do Natty's quest, I think. Let's go out of Hogwarts for a little bit. We've been cooped up inside for too long. Now, if we go world map, we can't really go here because we don't have the flu network on. But if we go back to Hogs or Hogwarts, sorry, not Hogwarts, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, we should be able to go at the south exit, which I think is which way is south? It's this side. And we can definitely go there. Cool. We'll head out through the south. We'll go down to go meet with her. We don't have our broom yet, which makes flying impossible, obviously. But we might be able to find our first Merlin trial near the town. In fact, I know we do. Is that the gameskeeper's hut? Groundskeeper's hut? Gameskeeper? Whatever. I think it is. Yeah, it definitely is. This would be uh, Hagrid's hut in the movies. Also, there's a... Revelio. ...thing here. Apparently, it's inside. Groundskeeper's tools. One might surmise that the set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut as large as the occupant may need. Also a treasure, which it has a forest tartan scarf, and that's really it. Okay. Nothing else around? Okay, good. We're gonna head down. Uh, this looks intriguing. Because there is a thing I think we can do here. There's a dungeon we can do. There may not be a dungeon we can do. Uh, yeah, we can. Okay. Accio. Knock that Incendio. in place, incendio it, and the door will open. The spell you need is on the block. It's not particularly hard. Also, there's rarely enemies in these dungeons. In fact, I don't know if I've ever seen it. Oh yeah, there's been maybe some Inferi in one of them, but very, which are undead. And uh, nothing super important, though. Oh, horse lumps. These little mushrooms are pretty good for potion making. Certain types of potions. You'll notice there's a weird hole in the ground here. We need uh, to deal with that later. It's for a Merlin trial, but I don't think we have the right... Sp a, we don't have the right spell for it. B, we haven't unlo unlocked Merlin trials yet, so... We're not too concerned about that situation at the moment. We're going to go down this path and find Natsai. She's at a... Little place over here. What is quick save in this game? There's got to be a quick save button, right? Mm, that one? Quick save, where are you? Movements, menus, features. Okay, let's go back. There's gotta be a quick save button somewhere. Balance, dialogue, features, summoner's court, potions, mini games, menus. No, that's not right. Inventory, quest field guide, loading screen, choose save. Huh. I don't know if I missed it, but maybe there's a quick save button. That's fine. The game auto saves like every 20 seconds anyway, so let's just go. Let's 
We've arrived at the town. It's not very far. Ooh, hang on. Leaping toadstool caps. Also more potion things. We're gonna go talk to this quest giver over here first, though. This unlocks the Merlin trial stuff. I think. No, wait. This is the other girl. Need you for some assistance. Sure. What's up? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake doesn't sound too appealing. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. Perhaps. What precisely do you need to retrieve and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. Sucks to be them, I what guess. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Should I know who your family are? You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What's an astrolabe? What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. A thousand? Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Well, there's no uses. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. You could also go dig up their bodies and get a bit of them back that way. Hmm. They're in the lake it somewhere. It's dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I do I've like stuff. I've cross the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's Fine. astrolabe back. Fine. I'll go help you out, but I'm going to make you pay for it. I do or hope you it. find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. There's something in the water that... See. Clearly an enemy. And I definitely can't wand things while in the water. Hold up. Let's see if we can fight this thing. Yeah, I'm shooting at you. Come on. Can I not hit you? You know what? I'm going to use X. This is our big attack. And, uh... Holy shit, that thing has a ton of life. Okay. Can I? Okay, we're gonna shoot it for three every time until it dies. I guess this isn't the hardest fight because it's just kind of standing there, but whatever. Alright, now we can go exploring easily. Let's go swimming. We're supposed to swim out into the middle of the lake. We found a thing. I got a fringe teal clockworth scarf. We should probably our other scarf, whichever one's better, actually, but go look around the lake a little. We're just swimming in heavy robes, apparently, and boots. I used to be a lifeguard when I was younger, and uh, I can tell you that swimming in robes like that would be an absolute disaster. You would probably drown. 
And boots are really hard this to swim. This must be too. where the pink Smedley family astrolabe is. I was a really strong swimmer, and I still don't think that I could have swung with ropes like or swung with ropes like that and boots. I would probably have drowned. At the the best case scenario in this is that you would manage to strip off your robes and boots in time to swim before they dragged you down. Or if you had, I guess, good enough buoyancy, you could uh, float a little better. Larger people have a little bit better luck with that. And people with high lung capacity also float better. The more air you can get into your lungs, the more it acts like a ballast and you can float for longer that way. But anyways, yeah, your goal, if you were in this situation with this robe and boot combo, you'd want to strip them off as fast as possible. Anyways, Actually, we got the astrolabe. I found her family astrolabe. We also have a bunch of loot. Let's go put this on first. Any new gloves? We do have new gloves. We can't wear them. They're level 15, so we got to level up first. We have new glasses. Considerably better legendary ceramic. Oh, uh, oh that looks cool and creepy. Let's do that. That's perfectly fine. We're going to use the ceramic mask for now. No new hats. We do have new neckwear, well appointed, well appointed. They're both the same. In fact, they're exactly the same, but we're gonna not have an appearance on them. Uh, new robes, we do have better offensive robes and actually they look really cool, but they're not as cool as our Ed. Although we could have a cape and it kind of fits the mask aesthetic. So I might go with the cape for now. And I think we have a new school uniform. But we're gonna switch that back up for our old school one. Now we look like we belong in Phantom of the Opera completely fair. We should be playing the lead, the eponymous phantom. That is not the best cape animation for water, honestly. I don't think they really thought out how swimming with capes would look, because your cape would not be fluttering in the water like it was in the breeze. I'm still in the water, leave me alone until I'm hit shore. I wonder if I can blackmail her for this. Ah, well, don't fall. Okay, what do you got? Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? Do we want to... We don't really need to keep it. I want money. I did, and it's yours. For a price. I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. Yes. A reward, so to speak. I need the for money. For finding the buried treasure. Sure, I just thank want the money. you for recovering it. Don't thank me. I want you the money. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. You and don't I need do to thank me. You paid me diving. twenty dollars. Certainly have a knack for finding really? treasure. Really? Worst quest money ever. I should have just been a dick and kept it. I don't even know if it's worth anything. Kind of wish I could go back and keep it now. Oh well, live and learn. Being a mercenary Rebellion. sometimes doesn't pay out as well as you would hope. We got a botanical bronze leaf wand thing. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Wait, how did I not get the Galloway? I need the flu. It is good to see you, my friend. Yeah, we're gonna get to your quest in a sec here. I gotta loot some people first. Oh, it's locked. Okay, fine. Not all of them are locked. Well, where are they? No, there's another thing back here. Okay. We got a celestial blue. Actually, I kind of like the celestial blue. Hang on, let's take a look at that. We'll grab the gloves as well while we're here. Better offense skill. I'm going to change the look because I think I like the dark arts. Actually, I like the legendary gloves, I think, more. They look cool. Um, wand handles. Let me see that celestial blue. It's more Ravenclaw-y, I guess. What about the botanical bronze? That kind of looks cool, actually. I'm going to go with the bronze botanical for now. I think it looks cool. Let's go. Let's go talk to Natsai now. Natty. Wait, there's another side quest here. Who are you? What do you want, goblin? Arn. I never thought Ramrock's... Pardon me. Is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. 
Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Oh. Has this happened before? Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. Are you a painter? You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'll keep an eye out. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. All right, we'll worry about that in a minute. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Um... It is 500 away. We should just grab Natsai's quest while we're here. <sighs> it is good to... Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? Yep, I'm alright at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I can't say. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Alrighty. This uh, could be dangerous. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Okay. We'll work on that as well. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Let's this is actually where we start to learn about Merlin trials. They must have come this way. Think! Hello there. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <sighs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! 
you missed with your stupefy pretty badly there. Let's get it. I'm not gonna lie, the uh, the cross wands were much harder to deal with than her, her within this group. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. All right, fair enough. Let's do this then. Okay. Oh, Kate, that hurt. You know what? Just a grim death. That one's dead. Actually, they're all dead. Let's go grab that blue stuff. Any Rebellion. loot? From what them? Just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Yeah, it happens. What's up? Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Yeah, that's true, Best they are. Best get moving on my research before they return. Who is Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Well, that's adorable. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioneer. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Nocturne Alley is a little dangerous, isn't it? Research, how interesting. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought Merlin was a myth. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. How fascinating. Actually, sounds a bit tedious. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. Well, I think anything concerning Merlin is worth pursuing, and I shall have you know. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Sure. Let me I make brought it happen. a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Rebellion. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I, have I don't some have mallow any. Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. All right. See that? The vines disappear. Incendio. Yeah, I got it. I know I do now. The flames make the pyre sink. Territory. I am curious about these pyres. I know how to do this. No one has figured this out. Really? Man, yes, how beautiful. What a day. I can hardly believe it. 
we have successfully completed the first Merlin trial. All we did do is cast Incendio on those things. They're fire pillars. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit. We'll grow that later you can find so that we have lots of it. Should you need more. I'm not buying it. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. You too. We'll eventually buy some and seeds. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. You may wonder why that these are important, these trials in Merlin. And we're going to get them all eventually. Uh, you don't need to get them all. We're going to try and get them all just for completion's sake. But... Um, these Merlin trials will give us more inventory space, so we need to solve a second one to get increased storage for gear, and so on and so forth. I'm going to try and do the one on top of that hill. I think we can do it, although I think we might need to pulso for it. I don't exactly remember, but we can try. Also, you don't, you shouldn't be worried about wasting Mallow Sweet by activating a Merlin trial. You can't complete After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Uh, because it'll stay active forever until you solve it. So don't worry too much about it if you activate it and you can't figure it out initially. There's also one that stumped me for a bit. One of the types of them. It's not this one. This one just might, you might not have the right type of magic for it. But we'll find out pretty soon. Where is it? It's over here somewhere, I think. Yeah. It's way over here. Ugh. If this was the Witcher, we'd be dead already. Can we just crawl up here? Thank you. Alright, we're going all the way up here. There's a, a boulder here that you can see. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Now, I believe we can do this one. Our goal is to get into that little hole over there, so it should be pretty easy. We don't want to stand directly in front of it. Can we move it? Maybe? Yes. Come on. Come on. Levioso. Can't Levioso it. I'm going to try to activate it one more time. This one might be one we need to pull so far. Or maybe we can roll it the other way. It's possibly one we can't do yet. Come on. Nah, I think we can't do this one. That's okay. It refuses to move. I'll... Try and hit it with some spells just to see. Incendio, Expelliarmus, Levioso, Accio. Nope, no luck. Alright, we're gonna leave that one alone. We just need a different spell we don't have yet. Unless we can learn it in Herbology, I guess we could maybe do it? What are we learning in Herbology class? What do we get for doing it? We don't get anything other than the ability to do Herbology, which I guess makes sense. We're gonna find another Merlin's quest that we can do. Because I really want to get more inventory slots. There's usually a bunch around, so hopefully it won't be too hard to find one. We'll kind of wander up into the hinterlands a little bit. It's usually where they're located. We might also find the mazes, which is another thing we can do. Uh, if you're wondering what these balloons are for, it's for uh, flying. You're supposed to hit all of them. Get different broom patterns by doing them. There's another... Oh. So we're going to destroy these crystals. Uh, they are moonstone. They're not useful yet. We're going to need them later on. Which one's this one? This is an Accio one. We can do this one. Okay. So we dump our Mallow Sweet in there. And we're going to hit Rebellio. Rebellio. You'll see these little balls around. Our goal is just to come up here. Accio. Accio the balls and just drag them all. They will stack up once they get into range. And we should do that for all of them. That's that one. There's a third one somewhere, I think. If I were the third one, oh, it's over there. And just target those. Bring them over here and dump them there. And that should be the Merlin trial completed. Unless there's a fourth one. Nope, that's all of them. Alright. Easy enough. 
we are going to unlock our inventory space, and then we'll call it a video there. We're a little bit over time, and that is okay. But we'll grab our extra inventory space right away here, so we're going to go... No, Exploration, Merlin... Actually, we have Dark Wizard stuff. We can get the Dragonhide Protector's Cloak, which looks pretty cool, honestly. Uh, exploration. Merlin Trials. Increased storage for gear. It's only four extra slots for now, but it's worthwhile to get. And that's where we're going to end off. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others will see you all next time, and we will continue on our way. Take care.